Today, I'm diving deep into the idea that time might just be a trick of the mind and I'll challenge myself to explore how our consciousness shapes reality. Time and consciousness, two of the most fascinating and mysterious concepts that have puzzled philosophers, scientists, and thinkers for centuries. As we navigate our daily lives, we often take these two concepts for granted, assuming that time is an objective reality and consciousness is just a byproduct of our brain activity. But what if I told you that our understanding of time is deeply rooted in our consciousness and that our perception of reality is heavily influenced by it? One of the biggest challenges we face when trying to understand time is that it's incredibly difficult to perceive it objectively. Our experience of time is always filtered through our consciousness, which means that our emotions, memories and expectations all play a role in how we perceive the passage of time. Have you ever felt like time was playing tricks on you? Maybe a boring lecture seemed to last forever while a fun weekend flew by in the blink of an eye? Well, what if I told you that time might not be as straightforward as we think? So buckle up and get ready for a journey that might just change how you see the world around you. Let's start with a simple question. What is time? It seems easy enough to answer, right? We look at our watches, we follow schedules, we mark birthdays on calendars, but when we really think about it, time becomes a lot more complicated. Scientists and philosophers have been scratching their heads over this for centuries. The truth is, our understanding of time is deeply connected to our consciousness. And that's where things get really interesting. Think about a time when you were having so much fun that hours felt like minutes. Or maybe you've experienced the opposite, a boring task that seemed to drag on forever. This is what we call the subjective experience of time. Our emotions, our focus, and our state of mind all influence how we perceive time passing. It's almost as if our consciousness is stretching and squeezing time like a rubber band. Now, let's talk about the present moment. It's all we ever really experience, isn't it? We can remember the past and imagine the future, but we're always living in the now. This is a big challenge when we try to understand time as a whole. Our brains are wired to focus on the present, making it hard to grasp the big picture of time. Here's something to think about. Our language and culture shape how we view time. We talk about time as if it's a straight line moving from past to future. We say things like time flies or time is money, but these are just ways we've come up with to make sense of something that's really hard to understand. What if our way of talking about time is actually limiting our ability to understand it. Let's dive into some mind-bending science for a moment. Have you heard of Einstein's theory of relativity? It shows that time isn't fixed or absolute. Instead, it can bend and stretch depending on things like gravity and motion. This means that time could actually pass at different rates for different people. Imagine you have a twin and he goes on a space journey at super fast speeds. When he comes back, he might be younger than you. This isn't science fiction. It's a real phenomenon called time dilation. It's been proven in experiments with extremely precise clocks. Now, let's get even weirder with quantum mechanics. At the tiniest levels of reality, things don't behave the way we expect. Particles can exist in multiple places at once and the act of observing them can change their behavior. Some scientists think this might mean our consciousness plays a bigger role in shaping reality than we ever imagined. Here's a wild thought. What if all moments in time exist at once? This is an idea called eternalism. It suggests that the past, present, and future are all equally real. On the flip side, there's an idea called presentism which says only the present moment is real. These are just two of many ways philosophers have tried to make sense of time. 
let's talk about something you might have experienced. The placebo effect. This is when people feel better after taking a fake medicine just because they believe it will work. It's a powerful example of how our minds can influence our reality. If our thoughts can affect our physical health, could they also affect our experience of time? So, what does all this mean for us in our daily lives? Well, it suggests that our experience of reality might be more flexible than we think. Our consciousness isn't just passively observing the world, it's actively shaping our experience. This doesn't mean we can control everything with our minds, or do we? But it does suggest that our thoughts and beliefs have a big impact on how we experience the world. Here's a practical way to explore this. Try mindfulness meditation. By focusing on the present moment, you might notice how your perception of time changes. You might also become more aware of how your thoughts influence your experience of reality. Another interesting experiment is to try changing your language about time. Instead of saying, I don't have time, try saying, it's not a priority right now. This small shift can change how you think about time and your choices. Remember, the goal isn't to completely figure out time and consciousness. These are huge, complex topics that even the smartest scientists and philosophers are still debating. The real value is in opening our minds to new possibilities and questioning our assumptions. So, there you have it. A journey into the mind-bending world of time and consciousness. We've explored how our minds might be shaping our experience of time and reality. It's a lot to take in and you might have more questions now than when we started. That's okay. In fact, it's great. Curiosity and questioning are how we learn and grow. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think time is a trick of the mind? How has this video changed how you think about reality? Share your ideas in the comments below. If you found this interesting, please give the video a like and consider subscribing for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, your consciousness might be shaping your reality more than you think.